So it's only been a few hours, but uh, what do you know about Duquesne? Uh, what are some keys of the game against the Dukes? Uh, uh, I think it starts with our guards. You know, they got two really good guards that we got to slow down. Um, defensively, they, they'll try to speed us up, you know, go for steals. Uh, but overall, just a really good team that, that we got to play really well to beat. Have you guys had a chance to watch the film of their game yesterday? Uh, yeah, we've been watching a lot of film, a lot of personnel stuff so far. So we're starting to get a good feel for what they do. Defensively, Jimmy Clark, he was uh, all Atlantic 10. And I was just talking to him, and he says he revels in the opportunity to face top competition. And that's obviously what you guys are. How do you sort of try to motivate yourselves in a game where you're obviously a much higher seed? Um, I don't think we really need any motivation. You know, we're in the tournament. Every game's a good game. So the motivation for us is already there. You know, we know we got to come out and play really well. Marcus, what, what do you – Coach mentioned it yesterday, but when you see Terrence on the floor a couple of times and, and doing what he's doing from a hustle standpoint, I know he's got 19 in the first half, but does that kind of lift the team even more when you guys see him on the floor doing all those types of dirty work type of things? Yeah, it does. Energy plays are, you know, play a lot in the basketball. So when your best player is the one diving on the floor and sacrificing his body, it just it feeds into everybody else and it makes everybody else want to do the same. Illinois hasn't been to a Sweet 16 since 2005. What would it mean to you guys to, to put your points in that and join kind of that team? Yeah, it would mean a lot. You know, I don't think – I think this team, you know, we don't try to look at what's happened in the past too much because we just want to write our own story. But it would mean a lot to make the Sweet 16. You know, not many teams get to do it. Describe what it was like to play for Coach Underwood. He seems like such an intense guy just watching him from the media room and the TV. Room. Yeah, I mean, he gets intense at that time. Um, you know, I really like playing for him. You know, I think coach has really good relationships with all of us players. So, you know, when you have those type of relationships off the court, when he gets on his, on the court, you know, we don't we don't take it personal. You know, we know he just wants the best for us, wants the best for the team. So, you know, I, I do. I really like playing for coach. Yeah, for sure. You know, he. Uh, you know, there's times in practice where he tries to get under his skin and he tries to, you know, get us frustrated and kind of get us sped up and all that stuff. But, you know, he all he's doing is trying to trying to prep us for for what teams like Duquesne are going to try to do to us. In the past week, I and mean, at times where starters maybe weren't having their game, how much has the bench guys like Dave, guys like uh, Dre, kind of stepped in to be able to help those two guys, especially yesterday when it was kind of the dog fight? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, our bench has been huge. You know, our bench has been huge all season. You know, we're that's one of the best things about our team is we're a really deep team that that if you take away one or two guys, you know, we got so many guys that can step up. So when our bench continues to produce like they have been, our team is just way better. Why has Dane been able to really kind of hit a stride in the last week or so, dating back to the Big Ten tournament? Yeah, um, you know, I think he's just stayed consistent all year. You know, when his minutes weren't there, he's... He stayed in the gym, you know, he stayed working on his conditioning. Like, he had just never, if you watched him outside of practice and in practice, you would have thought, you would have never known that he wasn't playing that much. You know, his his work has always been there, and it's just finally starting to show. Marcus, how would you describe your first NCAA tournament experience so far? Anything different than regular season? Anything that surprises you or anything like that? Um, you know, I don't think it's anything that's surprising me. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's just basketball. You know, we've been playing basketball for a long time, so I'm just trying to continue to do what I can do to help the team. And so, yeah, I mean, it's just basketball. Yeah. Are these the kind of things that you envisioned when you decided to come here? Did you envision, you know, winning the NCAA tournament games? How do you feel about it coming to fruition? Yeah, it's definitely what I envisioned. You know, that was the main reason I came to Illinois, because I felt like we had the chance to do that. So, you know, it's been good. You know, I've enjoyed, enjoyed it so far, but. You know, I'm just trying to stay focused on to the next game and trying to continue to get wins. Did you watch the Oakland game last night or did you watch the basketball? I did. I did watch the Oakland game. Yeah. What did you think of that? And, uh, I mean, after the game, uh, the 10-3 10 says that we're not a single point. Yeah. Uh, you know, it honestly didn't surprise me. We had played Oakland, so, you know, I was familiar with them. And uh, Golki, he he's from Wisconsin, and he's a grade above me, so I, I've been familiar with him, too. So, you know, what he's doing and what Oakland's doing, it really isn't surprising to me. Do you get into the tournament a lot? Do you fill out a bracket and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I didn't fill out a bracket, no. I usually do. I didn't this year. Um, but, you know, I watch a lot of the games. When, when we're not practicing we're not playing, I'm, I'm watching the games. Mark, so you go back. Yeah, I just remember at SIU being kind of a big shot, almost a four. I mean, is, that, is that accurate? And when they when they describe this role to you in the four hole, is this what they describe that you have the ball in your hands more and more of a playmaker? 
Um, yeah, I was a four at SIU, so it, definitely a different role here. Um, out the portal, you know, I wasn't, they weren't telling me I was going to play point guard. I don't think they thought I was going to play the point guard, honestly. Uh, you know, but we had talked about being more on the perimeter and just playing alongside Terrence a lot. Uh, but as far as the point guard position, I don't think me or our coaches expected this is kind of how my game would adapt. Are you surprised what you're able to do? Are you surprised you're able to do, I mean, did you do the stuff in high school? Are you surprised at what you've been able to do? Um, you know, I've, I've always kind of had a versatile game. You know, even at SIU, if I wasn't playing the four and we wanted to go with a really big lineup, I, I would run point guard every now and then. So, you know, I'd always kind of had a little bit of that background for my game. So, you know, it's not not that surprising for me. You mentioned Golke, and uh, I mean, you were crazy under recruited out of high school. I mean, you, you were kind of begging for an offer, weren't you? I mean, when you go back to that and see yourself kind of where you are now, uh, tell me that story about how you probably dreamed of this and maybe you didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, uh, yeah, out of high school, I pretty much. I mean, I just had a lot of low and mid majors um, offers. So, yeah, I had no high majors. So to kind of finally be in this this high major situation and on a team that's really good. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't expect this for myself, you know, three, four years ago. Marcus, the transfer portal is lighting up again this year. What, what's your thoughts on the portal, specifically for opportunities for guys like you, maybe at a mid-major level, the chance to, chance to move up to a bigger stage? Yeah, I think uh, the portal can be a good thing, you know, if it's used right. I think some people, you know, go into the portal with unrealistic expectations or, you know, maybe misuse the portal. But for guys that, you know, have a s specific thing they're looking for, you know, I think if the portal is used right, it, it can be really beneficial to, to players and schools. When I think of the portal, I just think guys all come together. And then you guys have used the word connected since the summer. It just, it happened so quickly that, that, that you, I mean, you came from so many different places. Yeah, uh, I put a lot of a lot of credit to, to coach and our coaching staff for that. You know, they wanted to to get older, and they brought in guys with the same mindset. You know, when when you bring in guys that are just worried about winning games, it's really easy to bond together if you have one common goal.